I'm Liz. And I'm Chris. And we're adulting, adulting in, in theme park land. land. Today, we're heading back to the Cretaceous period, exploring Dinoland USA, a part of the animal kingdom that may not be around for too much longer. They may go extinct, just like the dinosaurs. So come with us as we explore this fun and kitschy area of the animal kingdom. Let's go. So the official story is that Donald Land USA originally started as a small highway town where an amateur fossil hunter found some dinosaur bones in 1947. After contacting some scientist friends, they gathered their money together to purchase the site. Since then, scientists, volunteers, and grad students have been living there trying to find answers about dinosaurs. The Dino Institute was founded and opened the site as a fossil discovery park, fossil discover park, an old fishing lodge of the property became the restaurant Saurus. Meanwhile, the Dino Institute and their partners at a research facility called Chronotech discovered how to warp vehicles through time and thus started the time tours. Chester and Hester, two locals, were determined to make a quick buck and converted their gas station into a fossil souvenir shop. Not to be outdone by the Dino Institute, they turned their parking lot into a small amusement park called Chester and Hester's Dino-Rama, featuring their own version of dinosaur called Primeval Whirl, which is no longer there. But they also decided to add Ferris to the Triceratops spin and the Midway Games. Liz from the future here. Turns out we had some audio issues with today's video, so please bear with us. But here we are at the entrance to Dinoland USA, also known for Donald's Dino Bash, hence my awesome purse that I'm wearing in this. But the first area that you come upon is a great paleontology playground that we're gonna go explore. So come along with us. I think you should get on it. Really? I don't see any signs that say you can't. Climb up on the dinosaur head. You're not going to get kicked out. Oh, they're coming to kick you out. It's happening right now. All right. Ever expanding cave system gets more and more expanded and I am lost. That was not made for people my size. <laughs> Yeah. You know, in all honesty, I haven't really taken the time to explore this area a lot. There's a lot of fun dino facts and areas to explore. Facts about the T Rex. Yes. <laughs> Chris is going exploring. Hey there. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, great place to spend time with the kiddos. The floor is squishy and bouncy and safe. There's fun caves to explore. Dino facts and dino bones. I mean, what more could you possibly need? Uh -huh. Oh no. <laughs> so one thing I don't think I realized until like just a couple of years ago, which is ridiculous, is that you can actually come up to the second floor and walk under these great fossils. And this is where the dig site is. So I wasn't completely bonkers. Right. 
and it's basically a giant sand pit with a bunch of fossils. And at Christmas, what's really fun is they put a Santa hat on the dinosaur's head. And you get great views of the area from up here. If you walk over from the dig site across the walkway, you'll find this great area, which I literally don't think I've ever seen. And it's obviously the area where the people who work here set up camp. And then there's a fossil, co re fossil recovery list over here. I can only imagine it's a bunch of Easter eggs of the people that designed this area. Extremis Activa Sarcastica. That's pretty great. <laughs> Beauteous Chartara. Trivalia Dinosauria Encyclopedias. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's really fun. This is also where you come to get on some of these bigger slides, which are meant for people half our, our size, so we are not going to go down. Uh, two guests at one sort of uh, size. So. Yeah. Oh, and there's a beautiful fan here, which is <laughs> why I'm standing here. A nice perk. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. That's cool. As you continue on into Dino Land USA, you come upon Chester and Hester's Dino Rama and Donald's Dino Bash, where you can meet some of your favorite duck characters. You used to be able to meet Launchpad McQuack and Scrooge McDuck, but they haven't come back since COVID. But you can still meet Donald and Daisy. So kind of a fun Easter egg that they have here is a lot of places like selling gasoline. This is supposed to be like a roadside attraction type thing, but it's just funny since dinosaurs created gasoline. Yeah. I or recognize this dinosaur. Became, yes, became gasoline. Ah. Uh, <laughs> mm, you like the hat. You like my hat? It's inspired by you. I'll my keep it like it. Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, wait, my uh, yes. Mm. She was prepared for you. I got it in Japan. All the way from Japan. It's for you. Oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No more dollar stuff. Hi. Here in Dino Rama, you can also meet this new uh, meet and greet bird watching and bone digging with Goofy and Pluto. Over in the back here. They're kind of hidden here in the back. Hi, dude. I love oh, the birdies that you see. Come on down. Yeah, I have to get a of it. Look at all of those birds. All right, so you've seen this many of these? All right. I've only seen this one once. That's a big one, yeah. Oh, I love all the birdies. So, so? Okay. Oh, pretty. I'm across. Oh, Chester and Hester's is the Cretaceous Trail where you can actually see some plants and dinosaurs of the late Cretaceous. But this is also where you come for a little bit more character meet and greets. So they've really upped the number of character meet and greets in this area lately. Right now you can go meet Chip and Dale in their awesome outfits. Daisy's area, so cute. So Chester and Hester's 
Dino-Rama, located in Diggs County, USA, supposed to take place actually in Florida. The idea behind it is they found a bunch of dinosaur bones here and created like roadside attractions to bring in tourists to come see the dinosaur bones and you know have like a Route 66 style um, experience and attraction. Oh, look! Hi, Pippa Are you cute? Your dinosaur onesies? Oh my goodness, uh, I bought one. They look so snug. It's so scary. Like I, know. I know. Nobody oh, likes yeah, Donald. Well. <laughs> <laughs> you will cause some havoc for him. You're good at that. Yeah. Oh, you might have some troubles though running into them. <laughs> so anyway, so they decided to establish the Dino Institute here to study all of those fossils that they found. So it's both like a scientific research station area and a roadside attraction. So you can come get your science on, come get your fun on. There's a lot of puns, like mammoth deals and things like that. And then some nice little Easter eggs, like for example, it's on Route 498, so the park opens in April of the Hi guys. Hey, Daisy, don't you look amazing? Daisy, great job on your ears as always. You knocked it out of the park. And the ride actually used to be called Countdown to Extinction, and it was a little bit rougher, a little bit darker. They say a little scarier. I don't know. I went on it when I was 17, 18. I wasn't scared, but then again, I was an adult. Uh, but then when the movie Dinosaur came out, they themed it in a way to, to that movie. And so you'll see in the ride a lot of CTX, which references Countdown to Extinction. But anyway, here in Chester and Hester's Dino Brahma, there used to be another ride that we really loved, which was just kind of a port of like a regular carnival ride. Chris, what was it called again? This one was called um, Primeval World. Primeval World. We really enjoyed it, but now it's gone. And it's just a parking lot area. But here you have kind of like the jumbo port for this area where you can ride on a Triceratops. I've actually never done this, so we're gonna do that. And, um, and also play a bunch of like arcade or like carnival style games to win huge prizes, which I've also never done. So I think we should go do those things. Don't you agree? Definitely. Yeah. Have you found the game for you? I don't know which one I want. I like to play two. Right. But I don't want to take it from a kid. So I'm going to play one. Oh, Whack-a-Mole looks fun. Yeah. Sorry, whack a whack a pack a uh, whack a pack a Say that again. In case anyone was wondering how it's spelled. All right. Get ready, dear. Alright, here we go. Good luck. Are you the balance only? Don't be in the fingers. Okay. Three, two, and one. Oh, way to go. Yeah. Good guys. Thank you for playing. That was close. Alright, welcome to the game in a couple of minutes. Alright. Oh, my goodness. I don't know. Um, Which one's it going to be? Here we go. Mini. Have fun, Jerry. Yay. Alright. Hey, Minnie. So it's cute. She's wearing a Dino Institute t-shirt. Nice. Hey, so are we. Yeah, I love it. She fits right in. Yeah. There you go. We match. That's a nice little $6 souvenir. And now the prize you could win is based on how many people are playing. So five to six people and you can win one of the dinosaurs. Uh, but less than that, you win. Um, still, prize. still cute. All right. What are you walking up to? Of course we do. This is fun to watch you watch you play. Thank you guys for playing. Have a dynamite day. Yeah, let's see what you want to do, huh? Well, yellow wings are extra large. Do you want to try to get? I, I don't know. I'm not gonna let any of this one. For all the new friends coming up, never know. Here's how we're gonna play. We're tossing our comments out to my colorful galaxy, and in a colored crater, just like so, win a prize. Any color would surprise those colors. Just tell me what size you want. That comment falls down into a black hole. It is gone forever, no prize. And then if we completely miss my galaxy, or if that comment bounces all the way back out, 
We're going to get a retry. Okay. We miss all four comments. It's only one retry now. Okay. Sounds good. Here you go. All right. Let's see how this goes. Okay. You Let's are test your skills. Oh. <laughs> oh well. Okay, time for another first for Liz. Just for Liz. <laughs> so this area actually used to be where you met Launchpad and the Quack. Hence the uh, poster in here. But like I said, he hasn't been back since COVID. And now it's just a place to sit. And then over here, it's now Wilderness Explorer Stop. This is where it used to be themed and you would meet Scrooge McDuck. Pretty sure that's where it was. Anyway, here we have Dino Bite Snacks, which is known for their ice cream sandwiches. <laughs> so we got the Dino Dig ice cream sandwich. It's a vanilla ice cream sandwich between two sugar made cost made sugar made cookies. Sugar cookies. Oh my goodness. With chocolate sprinkles, cookie crumbs, sugar bones, and a white chocolate dinosaur. We'll see how long it lasts in this Florida sun. Good luck. It's actually like keeping its shape pretty well for being a hot, hot humid day today. Nice. So the main restaurant here in Dinoland, USA is Restaurant Saurus. Restaurant Saurus, home of the Impossible Burger. It actually used to be owned by or operated by McDonald's. And so it used to have like McDonald's fries and burgers and stuff. It still has burgers and fries. Now it's just Disney's version of it. And the idea is it's the researchers here working at the Dino Institute, a lot of grad students set up shop here, which is why they have the chairs in the room. And then inside there's a lot of artifacts. Favorite hidden detail of mine here in Dinoland USA, or just a favorite kind of hidden spot, is the Restaurant Saurus Lounge. Obviously it's part of Restaurant Saurus, but it's here on the side in this it looks like a safari tent. I think it used to be like a passholder only area, but now it is just a small, awesome little lounge where you get some air conditioning, get some drinks. Thank you. All right, we're in the restaurant source lounge. Chris, what did you get? I got something with whiskey in it, and that's all I know about it. <laughs> yeah, it's a Jimmy special. Jimmy's the bartender here. He made me something with whiskey, and. I can't tell what else. It's whiskey. <laughs> Perfect. I love it. Jimmy's the best. I got a mojito. It's light. It's refreshing. It's rummy. It's minty. Not too sugary. It's perfect. And with the trademark, Jimmy ears. Gotta uh -huh. love it. <laughs> Welcome to the Dino Institute, home of dinosaur. It's fast. It's a blast. It is in the past. Of course, it used to be called Not Not to Extinction, as we've explained. Here's a model of the Tyrannosaurus Rex Sioux that is in the Field Museum in Chicago, outside of the Institute. And now this ride is a bit scary. It is quite dark, loud noises, kind of some scary lighting, um, scary dinosaurs in it. So you want to keep that in mind before you decide to ride it. But I think it's really fun. It is quite jerky though, so keep that in mind, of course, if you have any back issues or other physical things. Right now it has a half an hour wait, but usually that goes down first thing in the morning and towards the end of the evening. Yeah, let's go inside. <laughs> So there's some actual exhibits in here about dinosaurs in line that a lot of people don't take the time to actually look at, mostly because the line usually moves too fast. 
Yeah, they talk about the bird connection. But I love that it harkens back to Disney's kind of edutainment mission of Epcot. So again, they have a lot of educational stuff in line. This black line here is the K, it's called the KT boundary, and it's the line of ash from the asteroid hitting the Earth. Where you find the geological evidence. Here is a quote unquote Carnotaurus. It's obviously a fake skeleton for their fictional dinosaur they created for the ride. But it's still cool to see it in here. As you get off the ride, they have a fun gift shop with a lot of Hello there. <laughs> dinosaur merch. Oh, there. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what Grant uses. Oh, my hand doesn't fit. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty funny. Or some more fossils. We do puzzle kits, which is kind of cool. And of course, if you want a souvenir of your photo. Well, it's been a fun day here exploring Dinoland USA. How about you, Chris? I enjoyed it. It's a definite blast into the past, so to <laughs> yes. speak. It's been really fun. Uh, you know, it's. I get it. It's not the most, it's not the area with like the most to do. It's not everyone's favorite area of the animal kingdom, but I for one will definitely be sad if and when it's ever actually taken away. I've, I've always enjoyed this section. I feel like the, once once they pulled out Primeval World, you knew the writing was on the wall. They didn't like the, they didn't like it. They wanted it gone and they were looking for an excuse. It felt like I'm glad that it stuck around as long as it has. There's so many things in here that I didn't even know about until very recently. So I'm glad that we took some time to explore it and see what was going on. And of yeah. course you're going to miss Gertie. Yes. I'm glad I finally went on uh, the Triceratops spin. I finally played some of those, are uh, those carnival games. That was really fun. You should get here and do it while it's still open. I think it's a really good time. I personally would really miss Dr. Grant Seeker. I think that's my <laughs> favorite bit here in the land and I'll certainly miss that the most. I don't think he's gonna get his grant renewed this time. Uh, sadly, no. his next trip into the past, he might not make it back. He's just gonna stay one there. additional passenger. Extra, Extra large. large. Oh, it's sad. <sighs> Well, we'll have to pour one out for him. What do you say? Yes. Well, on that note, it's been fun. We've been, I'm Liz. I have been Chris. Yes. And we have been ad adulting in, adulting theme, in park. theme park. We have forgotten what we are doing here today, folks. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Good night. See you next time.